Okay, very good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Topik study skill. Uh, subject study skill ini topik 6 taking lecture. So, learning objective, QT is prepare taking lecture notes and selective. How effective not taking them. Okay, why uh, take lecture notes? So the problem is that only 10% of the audio lecture may last in the memory. But students who take and review their notes can recall about 80% of the lecture. So what's the meaning when when the, the at you attend classes, whether online or face to face, when the lecture giving lectures to you, according to the study, only 10% you can uh, remember what the uh, teacher says. Yeah? So, you can uh, yourself can know yourself whether it's true or not. But that is the general uh, general uh, research says. And how you want to to remember the balance of the 90%? So that's the only way you have to take the lecture notes. And according to lecture notes, that also you can remember the whole thing. You can recall maybe about 80%. But that's good enough lah. Uh, rather than you only uh, remember 10%. So this research suggests that physical writing activates regions of the brain that involve thinking, language and working memory. So when you start writing, when you should start writing, so all your brain and everything there will start uh, this uh, uh, activate so that because of that you can remember more. That's what they're trying to say. So why take lecture notes? We are researchers now. The how the brain function when you take lecture note and you don't take lecture notes. What's happen? Yeah. So first it promotes active listening by helping you concentrate the lecture then provide an accurate record of information that was presented in the class because if you don't write it down whatever presented by the lecture you may uh, get it wrong also because you can check back whether the lecture says the same information or maybe different one. We just try to recall. You may get it wrong also. So that's why we need it. So helps you learn and remember the information. Yeah? That's one of the reason of the lecture notes. Then helps you to organize the information. So once you remember, then you have to organize your information. Lah. We will show you later on how later on uh, how the information can be organized. So. Learning to take notes effectively and efficiently takes time. Yeah. So taking is one time, one one thing. Whether you take it efficiently is another thing. Yeah. So prepare before taking notes. So read the text assignment before the class. The important thing, is the the lectures have already given you the notes, the textbooks, all kinds of things. You need to read. If you don't read, uh, that is your first failure anyway. So you don't blame the lecture. Then can build up some background about a topic. So when you read the notes or the books that we give it, the given by the lectures, so you may have some understanding what the topic is about. So you try to take up some notes from the lecture, from the lecture you 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 read from the books. Or the notes that given to you will give you the opportunity to become familiar with the main topic that will be presented so when you go to the class uh, next day so you'll be familiar what the teachers talking about any words or sentences it strike your mind because you do read the problem today the teacher read more than the student student normally come to class without reading anything uh, this is the problem if you have the, you are this type of lecturer, uh, you are this type of student, and then you already start your own problem. Review the notes that you took during the last during the last class meeting. 
So after the meeting completed, you check back the notes you have taken. Now you can repair it based on the more information given to you by the lecturer. Become an active listener. Active listener are basically mentally focused on the lecture. So what is active listener? Simple only. Just focus on the lecture, what the lecturer say, try to understand and focus. Don't start talking with your friend, start sending WhatsApp, start reading your WhatsApp, start thinking, uh, looking to other things. Uh, this is the first mistake that you make yourself. Don't blame others. So, strategies for improving your listening skill, although there are many strategies, uh, so many lah, for becoming an active listener, the following should help you to increase your skill. So, we have written down there many strategies. You can read and understand it, how you want to use it, some of them or all of them, for your reading skill. Effective note. Okay, that is reading skill. Now, we're talking about effective note-taking system. There's one prepared by this... Uh, Right, uh, Cornell, so we call it Cornell system, and uh, we have a system they call it Cornell note taking method. So we have some sample inside here. You can uh, read and uh, try to use the uh, the note taking uh, format, uh, and you can improvise it if you want. But this is the thing that is acceptable, simple one that you can uh, do your note taking system. Yeah. So we have all the formatting, how you, your one page of your paper, you draw a line, what you have to write on the right hand side, what you have to write on the left hand side. So we have this uh, sample given to you. But doesn't mean that you can do your own or you can improvise it from this uh, taking system time. So, so effective. Note taking system. So your goal is to take the, the the information that you need from the lecture. So how you do it? So we have a mapping mind method. You can use it, or you do want to use it doesn't matter. But this is some of the thing you want to learn how you want to be effective note taking system that we show you. Yeah. Tips. Yeah, we have a lot of tips that we give you. Additional strategy for taking lecture notes. Just now the basic thing. But we still have more tips that uh, given uh, by all the researchers. They have made all this research already. So it's up to you. Uh, you can uh, use this tip or maybe not suitable, doesn't matter. But all these are uh, information already collected and studied. So you don't have to uh, worry whether your note taking is going to be effective or not. Because with what we already teach you here, with what all those Cornell and all the kind of things that we have shown you, if you can follow them 100%, you are perfect. But if you can't, this is the other main template that you can use for your note taking. Okay, then after we take the notes, the notes, we go to the next uh, uh, subtopic, we call it reviewing your notes. So how are you going to review the notes? If you have followed the Cornell system or all the structure system, that means you have very, you have a very nice uh, note uh, taking pages already structured nicely with you. So now you have done it all correctly and very clearly. The clarity is very important of your notes. If you want to write any short words, make sure you understand. Don't you yourself put short note. You, you don't understand what this, the note is all about or the word is all about. Uh, then don't make any use at all. Uh, so note taking, not necessarily you must put the full sentence. You can put it in the short notes or shorter sentences. But make sure you understand what you're writing. So there are three ways uh, reviewing your notes. One, recite from the heading. Uh, so every note, you must ha have a heading. From the heading, then you know. Just read the heading, you know already what the notes inside there. So it's important of the heading of every notes. So you must have a lot of heading and subheading for you easy for your easy reviewing of the notes. Number two, recite from the recall question. You can also have question that you recall 
or past year's examination question that you have it. So from the examination, you recall or you read the question, then now you try to find in your, the answer in your notes. Uh, there's another way of doing it. You're not doing how to review your notes or how to remember your notes. Any past year question, normally we will give you, uh, our college will give you all the past two or three years past questions paper, and then you can read the question, and then you try to answer the question or recall the question from the notes that you have already uh, written down. That's another one good thing because normally the question uh, will come uh, come out the same one way or another because we are not going to ask you other than what we're teaching you. So uh, uh, try to answer a past your question is a very good exercise for you to remember the subject and the notes. Three, talk about the information with others. Uh, so during your break time, during your recess, during your lunch time, uh, during your coffee break, or during your exercise sports with your friends, always try to talk about the, the notes that you're taking or subject you have studied for that day or the previous day. That will help you to, uh, to help your brains uh, to always uh, alert on those things that you have studied and that will give the memory uh, stay longer in your in your brains. Then anytime in future uh, you want to know about that subject, your brain will start pouring out all the information. It's just like computer lah. Yeah, you store all the information in your computer. If you store it properly, systematically, strategically, follow the template, any time after a few years or so, you just click the point that you need, the information will come back. So your brain work is the same like this computer. It's only we don't understand. We don't want to compare how the computer works and our brain work. It's all the same. They will store all the information. And then when you start read the heading or some uh, of the main uh, head, then your computer will vomit back all the information. But to store in the brain, so you need to do all this kind of thing. Uh, recite the heading, keep it properly heading, uh, do all the questions so they will store you all the answer in your brain. Uh, always discuss the subject with your friends so that you have more information on the subject stored in the brain. So whenever you want to answer or question on the, on the, on the subject, then your brain will come up all those things you have uh, stored inside there. Like simple, like you also keep it the information you keep in your computer. So just compare that, then you can understand how your brain works. Exercise. Uh, develop a note from the following material using Cornell System Informal Outlook Block Method Modified Block. Uh, so we have an exercise. So this one you can work together with the lecturer in the classroom. Okay, for today's subject, I already complete. So by now, Students uh, should be familiar with some of the styles, the techniques, and taking lecture notes that are available for you to use as a student. So you must uh, try to learn these techniques and style. Yeah? If not, you just get hit wire, you got so much note in the paper, in the end you don't, under, you don't understand what is even your writing in the paper. Right? Because it's not properly structured and not properly heading or subheading. Perhaps uh, you have you now decided what method you will implement from now. As I said just now, what we give you just some uh, example structured, but you can add on or revise it according to your premium and FMCs that you like. Doesn't matter as long as it suits to your own uh, requirement or your own understanding. So perhaps you are already using one or more. So if you study two subjects or modules with a very different content structure, this is great. Note-taking strategies need to be learned, developed, and maintained in order for success. So even sometimes you're underlying uh, yellow, red, or blue, there's no standard uh, uh, law on that. So it's up to you how you develop. 
Certain thing you want it to be in red, you put in red. Certain thing you put in yellow, it's up to you. Underlighting, highlighting. So it's your style. What we given here is just a basic thing. You can improvise it to make it better for you. To make for you to remember better. To make for you to memorize better. Easy for you to come back with the... Uh, uh, your, your brain will come back with the information you have thought. So you try this and see whether this is better or... All the while, you know, doing this is better for you to study the skills that you're going to develop for for yourself. So thank you very much, uh, all my students. Uh, so we can proceed later in the class to discuss further with the lecture. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.